Lee, and I am the president of the Google Developer Student Club at FIU. Welcome to our very first video edition of our daily leap code problem series, where we will be going over problems of um, beginner difficulty and advanced difficulty and explaining them so that hopefully you get a deeper understanding of the algorithms that we'll be going over over the course of the spring 2021 semester. We will be first covering this week binary search. Binary search is a crucial algorithm that is tested on interviews and it's one of those pesky algorithms that people can't seem to get down but don't worry we'll throughout uh, this week we will make this algorithm simple and easy for you to get down. So with our first problem we will be so this is going to be this is the first problem on January the 18th the beginner problem uh, we have the find smallest letter greater than target problem. So well the, what is the problem about? The problem states given a list of sorted characters called letters containing only lowercase letters and a given target letter target uh, which is going to be a character find the smallest element in the list that is greater uh, than the given target so for instance if we were to take a look at the input we have so you will notice for this input that all of these examples they're dealing with the same array the only things that are different are the target letters so that, and that's just to really emphasize the point why um, what's happening in, and you know what effect each letter would have on the same array so for instance if we were to take a look at the first example we have C F J we have A so we essentially want to find again the smallest letter greater than the target what exactly does that mean so we want to find just all the letters I suppose that are greater than the target letter and then just find the smallest one out of all of them so if we were to see from the first example we would see that hey C is the it's greater than A and it's also the smallest out of all of these if we were to place them in numerical value or get their ASCII value or not C would be the smallest so we would return C which is the case uh, we could do the same for the, each of them um, so we have C against these test cases. C, uh, so the reason it's not C is because it's asking for the smallest letter that's greater than. This is equal to, so it won't catch up this C. But F is the next best thing, so it'll return F. The rest of the test cases are the same, except when we get down to J. J, so again, we can't find the test cases that are exactly the same um, because it won't work. So, uh, but you know, we don't have any more letters. What's the case with that? Well, it's also mentioned in the problem description that letters can also wrap around. So for instance, if we have Z um, and an A and B, the answer will be A, right? So why, what, what, how could that make sense? Well, I've started writing down a little bit of a example that might be able to, we could, we could visualize this bit. So, we have, say, let's say this original array. Uh, we have J, so I wrote down the original array, but if there's nothing greater than J, then technically, if it's looping around, then this same array, I'm just gonna make it lower down in the list again. So we have C, F, and J. Um, and if we were to take the next, so technically these are all greater. If we were to take the smallest um, value that is greater than J, then that would be C, which is why we return C. Um, but you could also visualize it like this, that, um, that once you reach J, you just go back, you imagine that like when you go circularly through around the array, the T is the greatest, so that's why that is that. Um, but yeah, so those are pretty much your test cases. I mentioned earlier that we will use binary search to solve this answer. So how exactly will we do that? Well, this is a traditional binary search problem and I will show you why exactly that is the case. So if we were to take binary search, right? How do we do binary search in general? Well, binary search is essentially 
uh, ev through every iteration that you do binary search, you're essential. So, binary search is a sorting, is, is is a searching algorithm, and it cuts up the array into half and smaller pieces every single time that you um, continue your search. So, for instance, if we were to do A, um, hypothetically, we would start in the middle, right? We would start at F, and we would realize that. Uh, that we want to go maybe more to the left so we cut off all of these and then we find c but how uh i'm going to show you how exactly this will work though so say we we have two pointers pointers meaning with variables we have a a low variable where that'll it'll signify the beginning of the array which is typically zero and we'll have a high which will equal the the length of the array. So let's just do letters. So essentially, we're trying to find right. We're trying to find the smallest element uh, that is still greater than it. So what we can do is with traditional binary search. We, we search until the two pointers, they pass one another, or for instance, that the low is becomes greater than the high, then that means that we already should have found our solution. So I'm gonna do a, tr a while loop. Also, I'm coding in pseudocode so that this could be applied for uh, all sorts of languages, even though Java is the best language of them all. Uh, you can apply it for Python, C++, and su such. So while low is less than high, right? I'm just gonna write brackets. Um, so say, uh, so we have this here. So we also want, so how exactly we check the indices with the, with binary search, uh, with our, with these variables is that we're checking the middle of um, these two uh, indices at any given time. So we're gonna have a variable called mid. And with mid, uh, we need to find the exact middle. So how we will do that is by taking the low and adding it to the high minus the low divided by two. Typically, I mean, it m intuitively it might seem like you should do low plus high divided by two, but unfortunately with, with um, you can't exactly do that all the time because uh, say you're, you're searching a specific section of your array, say we're like with this example, right? Um, we might cut off this part here. We, we're trying to find something that is greater uh, then then J uh, we see here that all of these are smaller so we're gonna cut off these parts of the array right we start at F and we say well that's smaller so we cut off these parts of the array if we just do the low pl plus um, the high it's it's just not gonna work out so this is how we calculate the mid and any given point um, from there we will do a check to see we'll do an if statement Intuitively, we need to see whether the um, the current letter is greater, or if it's less than the the target letter. So, what I'm going to do is, if the um, mid as sorry, let's say we're doing letters at mid if that. If that is, let's say greater, if it's greater than target, right, say if it's, if it's greater than, then what that means is that, so the current letter, so we have A, if we have C here, or say we're starting here with the binary search, right? 
this is a perfect example. We're starting with f. We want to still find a letter that's possibly smaller than it. Um, so we want to we want to reduce our window size. Currently, we have low starting here and high starting here. Um, but we want to lower our window so that our, our mid can potentially find the right answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the window smaller and we're going to therefore change the high so that it starts here instead. So what we'll do is high will equal mid. Otherwise, it's the exact opposite. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's the exact opposite. So therefore, we want to make the mid, we want to make the low, uh, low will be mid plus, plus one. And from there, yeah, so that will, that will continuously keep running, the mid will keep changing. From there, uh, we will return, return the letters, whoops, letters. So we want to find at the lowest point, right? So we will return letters at low with a caveat. We're going to use modulus and say with the letters dot length, short for oh, I'm going to do length, and then we will return that. Why will it, why do we need this? Why do we need the modulus? Remember again. I brought up that example where we could have a target J, we could have C, F, J, target J. If we have the target J, we will, um, of course, these can't be the same um, because it's asking for the something greater, but the smallest. So we will be, we'll need to loop back around in the array and find the next best thing. So if by chance our low, so when we do the binary search, say let's start, let's say uh, low is, yeah, low start to be zero, low, zero, high will be, uh, it will be three. Uh, the mid will then be one. So obviously it'll start here. And so with the first iteration, it will see that all of these are smaller. So we're, we're knocking that out. So then low ends up becoming uh, two. And we do binary search again. Uh, we do two plus three divided by two, that's two. So we do, uh, yeah, we do the same check again. If uh, it's, so it's gonna be low uh, equals mid plus one. So it's gonna be two plus one is three. So mid at the end, so mid will be three. And while low is less than high, well three, this, because both uh, low and high will be equal to three, that will break that case, test case. So therefore, it'll be, uh, since we have three, and indices will only go from zero, one, and two, we'll be actually outside of the array with our low being three. So therefore, if we do the low modulus, the length, which it will equal zero, we will actually get C being our answer. So yeah, that, that's essentially the solution. Um, now I'm gonna code that up really quick and see if this will if this will work so I have my coding editor here 
let's write this out. Let's translate this. Uh, I'm going to do this in Java. So for those of you that know Java, this may be of use to you. Let's do this. We're gonna have an uh, int int low equals zero int high equals letters dot length. We're gonna then we're gonna do while low is less than high. Essentially, for this solution, um, everything is pretty much going to be um, just exactly where you think. Uh, except I, I just have to add the ints and whatnot. Uh, it's gonna send so no, over. Have to make our mid variable, which is low plus the uh, high minus low divided by two. Um, if letters at mid is greater than target. We're going to set high equal to mid. Else, it's going to. We're going to set low equal to mid plus one. And at the end of it all, we will go ahead and return the letters below modulus. Uh, where's my place? There we go. Letters uh, length. Let's test that out really quick. Oh, let's rest. Yes. Let's see if that works in general. Let's submit it. And it works. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the DSC FIU Discord, which will be in our description below. Thank you so much.